up? What's going on, guys? It's your host, Invisible DFS. I'm back again. This time we're gonna do DK. I only have FD about two weeks ago, so I'm gonna do DK and I'm gonna do it a little bit different. I mean, the same way, but I'm only gonna talk about my five players because I will have a follow up videos where I'm gonna talk about three players that's most likely gonna be under the radar that I think has a chance to be in the winning lineup, at least one of those players. And uh, hopefully that's the case. I will talk about them and talk about some other stuff. But in this video, I'm gonna make it short and sweet and talk about my five players, all right? So let's start with my very first one. That's Gigi Redick, all right? I'm gonna have Gigi Redick here. Uh, me personally, I'm gonna have a lot of Gigi Redick if he is playing, and I believe he will be ready by then. So, Gigi Redick. Wait a second. Oh, let's go to shooting guard. Gigi Redick. So, uh, oh, there's no news on him, but I believe he will be ready to play. If he's not, then of course I will definitely make a video out and let you guys know why we place him with all right so for right now my first look for dk is gg reddick most likely i will have a video out for dk and fd to update anything that i need to update and uh, also for the first game of the restart i'm gonna have dk and fd separately then after that i'm gonna have them together like i used to all right so gg reddick is the guys i'm looking to play it's a guy catching shoot and can also do a little, get some rebound and assist there. And he play about over 20 minutes a game at that price. Definitely, guys, I'm looking to play because you're gonna need some cheap plays. And Gigi Redick is one of them. All right. So I give you my cheapest play. Let me give you my most expensive play. That will be Davis. All right. I love Davis in both sides. Even at 10k here, I like him. I mean, Davis. I know this is a whole new season, basically. But he went off in those games he played against the Lakers where he actually averaged 70 fantasy points. That's not the reason I'm picking him. I know it's, the team going to be a little bit different as they have the add other players and stuff like that. But, and then it's the first game back. But regardless, nobody will be able to stop Davis. Nobody. So Davis definitely at that price is the guys I'm looking to play and possibly play him in half of my lineup. So let's go to power forward and go with Davis. All right. So, uh, all right. So now that I have Davis, let's talk about my third player. My third player I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with center here. I'm going to go with the most expensive center. There's a chance that could change or I might go to senders. I will tell you guys on my next video if you guys watch it you guys will understand what I'm talking about. But for right now that price when I compare that price to FD definitely Gobert is the guys I wanna go with I think Gobert gonna try to with his first game just try to bear everything that happened between him and Mitchell. So Gobert definitely a guy I'm looking to play. I expect him to just have a great game against the uh, New Orleans. Let's see. Zion, I can see him get some block on Zion because Zion, you know, most of his points gonna come from the paint, and definitely I can see him definitely have a great game, get some rebounds and blocks, and hopefully he can get 10 points where we can get those bonus double, double, triple doubles. Cobra definitely a guy I'm looking to play in DK compared to FD. All right, and then my fourth play, I'm gonna stick with that Utah game and go with Mitchell. That play is just too good. We know who's not gonna be there for them. So definitely Mitchell, let's put Mitchell. So let's put Mitchell here. And then let's put Redick in the small forward. All right, Mitchell definitely gonna have to score a little bit more for that reason, I love Mitchell, and uh, me personally, I think New Orleans is going to win the game, but I believe Mitchell going to have to do a lot. I mean, he very disappointed me. I mean, like, I know he can have out of nowhere have those great games. Me personally, I don't think he deserves to be an all-star. 
especially after the other side, basically didn't do much. But Mitch, we're not talking about, we don't care about that. We're talking about fantasy points, and I think Mitch is gonna be in the winning lineup. Me personally, I think I'm gonna be in the winning lineup in both sides. So Mitch will be in my lineups, most likely 70% of my lineups. Great price, and the thing he has to do for that team, Mitch is gonna be a key for me. And my last player, guys. Oh, the thing about my last play, there's, uh, that it's a play I wasn't even thinking about even playing. And first, when I did FD, we didn't even know if he was gonna participate. Then of course he decided he's gonna be there. So you guys probably already know who I'm talking about. Then again, I saw like a players like Reggie uh, Jackson. There's a chance. I mean, Pat Burp, there's a chance he might not be there. And then, of course, so I can see Lou Williams play a little bit more minutes. Regardless, Lou Williams minutes is just there. He's going to play minutes. He's the best shooter in the team, so definitely going to be there. And the guy can do everything, a little bit of everything. Not to rebounds and blocks, so like, but I'm not about the things that point guard can do. He can bring the ball up, can give you an assist, can shoot. If he's hot, he's hot. The thing is, they're playing against the Lakers, and the Lakers got a lot of wing defenders. That's the problem. But at that price, 5.1, definitely a guy I wouldn't mind taking a chance on. I love Lou. All those five players is my least favorite, but one of my favorite when it's come for the five players. So, Lou William, you can put him as the point guard. So, let's put him as the point guard. Uh, when I'm looking at the point guard here, when I'm looking at the price, 5.1, you have my county 6.2. I think I'd rather go with Lou Williams here. All right. In FD, you don't have a choice. Lou Williams is shooting guard, Conley is point guard. But here, when I can put Lou as point guard rather than Conley, I will go with that. You know, the player, all the players I was looking at is players like Reggie Jackson, if if uh, Pat Bev is not playing and Jordan Clarkson. But I decided to go with Lou Will here. So those are my five players, guys, for DK. All right. If anything changed, most likely I will have a video out regardless if something changed or not. So. Please, if you haven't, if you're not one of my followers, please click that button. All right, subscribe to my channel, and I appreciate you guys. I'm glad that we're gonna have basketball back. Uh, MLB is back basically in about 12 hours, something like that, but more than that. But we're gonna have MLB back. I don't do videos for MLB, but I will definitely, definitely play. The first two days, most likely. The other days I might not play unless if I want some good money. If I get lucky and some good money. But the first two days, those, especially in FD, they have that one million dollar, two dollar to enter. I will put ten teams in there. And tomorrow, I will enter FD again. Maybe put five teams. Take the chance. Why not? You know. And then on next week. After that, basically, after those two days, I'm just going to wait for basketball, and I'm going to be all about basketball till football season is here. Then if basketball is over, there's no football, then I will jump back to baseball till football is back. All right? So that's basically it, guys. Those are my five plays. Yes, I don't have James in there, and it's just 2.7K. Yes, he can be in the winning lineup, but I think the chance is more like 25%. So I will go with the 75% that he is not going to be in the winning lineup. Okay? But I will definitely have some teams with James in there. So if I have 100 teams, I could have 100 teams. If I do have 100 teams, then I will have James in 25% of it. All right, guys. I appreciate you guys. Thank you. And let me edit with some music. I will drop another um, video about the three players I think I will. Hey, some of them might be one of those players. Why? Who knows? So we'll see. All right. Anyway, guys, again, thank you. Please subscribe if you have not. I'm glad to be back. And hopefully, if you guys want some play baseball, you guys can win some good money. So you guys can even be more ready for basketball where you don't have to use any money out of your pocket. Me personally, that's what I'm hoping for. But I'm not gonna go much in baseball because. I want to save my money for basketball. I'm out.